Wolf is from Mort auctioning a decanter of endless water. I placed a bid for 300 quest points on this decanter. However, as you can see in my communication log, Shia placed a bid of 320 quest points not long after. Typing our bid to access the remote auction channel, we can see that it is still currently going for 320 quest points. I'm going to make that 350. There we go, in the communication log we can see that Kara has bid 350 quest points on the decanter of Endless Water. And Chia has bid right on top of it. I wonder how much this decanter is actually worth. Let's go to Quester and find out. Typing Quest Appraise Decanter shows that it is worth 1000. Typing Quest List shows that the decanter of Endless Water is worth 550 quest points. Now a decanter of endless water is actually quite a nice little item. It means you don't have to worry about going back to town to fill up at a local fountain very often. Typing quest appraise decanter, we can see that it has 1000 servings of orange juice, which I can empty and refill at the fountain of my choice. However, the orange juice looks pretty good, replenishing thirst by 27% and hunger by 45%. Typing our bid on its own, we can see that it has 69 seconds left to go. Now, 390 quest points is fantastic value for this. However, I am willing to pay just a little bit more. There we go, Shia has now bid 410 quest points. Alright, I'm going to up this straight to 450. As you can see, I am currently using the Chalice of the Watchman. As you can see here, the Chalice of the Watchman only holds 40 servings. Now the decanter of endless water is almost a luxury item. It just saves you having to go back to a fountain or into town or somewhere else to eat and drink. Having a look in the communication log, we see that the remote auction says that a bid of 450 quest points on the decanter of endless water is going twice. That means it's counting down to being sold. In fact, it looks like I have indeed won myself the decanter. There we go, fantastic! The remote auction item, the decanter of endless water, was sold to you for 450 quest points. Ownership transferred. Typing own, we can see down near the bottom, just above my daggers of Ardwolf, is the decanter of endless water. This is now owned to me, and my quest point total has gone down accordingly. Typing ID decanter, we can see that it actually holds milk. There we go, typing gulp decanter, we gulp down some milk from the decanter of endless water. But, as you can see, I still have 1000 servings. Well, I guess I don't need my chalice anymore. Now the chalice is worth 2,000 gold. If I was to sell that back to a shopkeeper, I would only get 1,000 gold for it. I'm going to try auctioning it and see if I can't get just a little bit more. First of all, I type unkept chalice, but as we can see, it isn't kept. Well, as you can see, I actually got distracted and forgot I just typed unkept chalice. Some would say I talk too much. Anyway, let's auction this chalice. To auction the chalice, I simply type auction chalice. Now we can see in the communication log at the top that Kara is auctioning the chalice of the watchman. 
the current bid is 100 gold. It doesn't look like anybody is interested in my cellos at all. We can see in the communication log that no bids were received and the object has been retained by Auction Incorporated. So I lost my chance to get 1000 gold for it from a shopkeeper. But you know what? That's okay, that really wasn't much money. Having a decanter of endless water has more than made up for it.